Hey everybody, I'm back. It's Ken at Back to Riding. I've been away for a while and I'll explain that and then I'm going to explain my latest mes mistake. I told you I'd tell you all my mistakes. So uh, in the fall I finished the MSF Rider Coach course and became certified in the state of New Jersey to not only teach but to certify students so they can get their driver's license. And uh, then winter came and when winter came everything in Jersey shuts down, all the, all the uh, teaching schools shut down, the Harley-Davidson ones, the private uh, sector ones, they all shut down for the winter. So uh, we had a forecast of a pretty weird, bad winter coming, a lot of snow, and uh, it was right. So I ran away. That's right, I ran away to Aruba, 82 degrees every single day. I was there for an entire month of February and I had uh, 28 days in Aruba and 28 of those were perfect days. So it was a good idea to get away. And uh, while I was there, every time I saw a bike, I took a picture of it and I missed a, I missed a whole a giant crew. I got tail end of it come riding by me uh, pretty much on a Sunday night. They all get on their bikes and ride around. So it was pretty cool to see uh, couple hundred bikes ride past right where I was staying. We did some ATV uh, all-terrain vehicle rides on the uh, west end of the island in the desert. It's kind of like a desert, real rough, but fun and beautiful. And I uh, did that with a friend, uh, my friend Joe Crabby, who uh, I do the motorcycle school with. And uh, we had a great time. But all good things come to an end, and we had to come back to New Jersey. But while we were down in Aruba, we got news that uh, we were moving to Texas. Didn't know it was going to happen as fast. We thought maybe maybe in another three, five years or so, but uh, it was going to happen. It was going to happen right away. So if you, uh, if you looked around my garage right now, you'd see the mess that I'm packing everything up and the whole interior of the house is all packed up. But uh, I, uh, I'm packing everything and heading to Texas, and it's happening super quick. But this past week, I got in the... Uh, my truck and I trailered the bike to Texas because not that I didn't want to ride it down there I had a trailer down there because I had to leave my truck and the bike in Texas because I'll be driving a uh, giant Penske or U-Haul truck down to uh, Texas with all my uh, household belongings and that's coming real soon but what did I do I so cautious driving that 16 1700 miles trailering that bike all the way down passing the so many Harley dealers all closed or just not easy to get easy access getting on off the uh, main route and I wanted to make good time I wanted to get down there I did it in two days and I got all the way down to Texas trailer and with the U-Haul trailer um, 700 bucks to rent that trailer for the day I don't own one I don't need one I don't want one I don't want to store one so I just rented it for the uh, they give it to you for six days for $700 that's with tax and I hauled the bike all the way to Texas, and I put it in a storage unit and parked my truck at my friend's house, and I'll be back down there with the big U-Haul truck soon. But hang in there one sec. I told you I'd tell you all my mistakes. And uh, first off, here's a picture. And what happened was I went to put it into the storage unit, and I thought I could just muscle it right in and that little lip of concrete that as you enter into a garage even though it's a little storage unit 
still has that little lip to keep the rain out. Um, I lost my balance. Instead of just powering the bike in like I should have, which I ended up doing in the end anyway, uh, I tried muscling it in, lost my balance, dropped the bike, scratched the front end. So upset. So upset. Uh, you go 1,700 miles worrying about all the traffic and everything that could happen, uh, and then you drop the bike as you put it into storage. Worst thing ever. So for now, I'm going to be, uh, I'm still up here in New Jersey. I'm going to teach one last class up here next week. That'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with my friend Krabby, uh, Krabby Joe. And um, hopefully we'll get everybody certified and get their license. But uh, this past week, they had their, on their test day, they, it was pouring rain, and I heard uh, not everybody in the class made it. So hoping for good weather next week and we can get everybody certified and get everybody moving on. But for now, uh, that's what I've been doing. Winter came, couldn't do much, ran away, enjoyed uh, Aruba, 82 degree weather, and um, checked out every bike when I, when I was down there, every one I could, and uh, missed mine. Finally got on mine, drove it around here for a little bit, threw it on a trailer, took it down to Texas, took it off the trail, drove it around Texas, another picture, put it back uh, put it back into the storage unit and drop the bike it's just scratching it up so uh, I think I'll be looking for a job in Texas teaching motorcycle safety but maybe I need lessons on how not to drop your bike or how to enter a storage unit without dropping your bike anyway uh, that's where I've been that's what I've been doing and spring is here I'll be down in Texas in less than two weeks hopefully and I'll be back on my bike riding it uh, a lot more frequently Although, quite honestly, it's colder there right now than it is here in New Jersey. Uh, I don't know how crazy that is, but it's colder down in Texas than it is in New Jersey. And uh, when I get down there, I'm hoping it's about 80 degrees and I can ride every day. Lots of open roads down there for me to ride on where I'm living, where I'm going to be moving to. And uh, the wife and I are looking forward to that. We stopped for lunch down there last time we were down there checking the house we're buying. Um, bikes everywhere, stopping for lunch, a lot of great people. Just need to hook up with uh, maybe the local Harley dealer and see about teaching down there and uh, find out if there's any uh, private uh, agencies that do it too. But I'm sure I'm going to have to get certified in Texas in order to do that. So we'll, we'll be looking forward into that and keep your eyes uh, posted for more videos. And if you like this one and you like all my other videos, uh, click on the like and uh, subscribe. And keep an eye out for me coming to you live from Texas. Talk to you soon. Bye. Have a great day.